So we're moving on to the next lightning talk. My lovely colleague, Nia, will join us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Fabrice. Hello, everyone. So I'm Neha. I work for the marketing division at NextCloud. And today I'm here to present about how to host a webinar using NextCloud Talk. So I would like to go through um, the agenda, what I wish to cover in next five minutes, hopefully. Uh, I would like to get started with a small introduction about what a webinar is and then show you some of the features in Nextcloud uh, that would be beneficial to host a webinar. And in third option, and in the third slide, I would like to show you step-by-step -step introduction about how with just few clicks and some settings, we can host a webinar using Nextcloud Talk. So, what is a webinar? I guess everybody knows what a webinar is. And for those who don't know, can pay attention now. So a webinar is a type of communication. It can be a seminar. It can be a, a workshop. It can be a presentation that is being transmitted to many people at the real time via video. So I can think of three scenarios here. So for an organization, it can be a chance in which a company shares its products and gives a presentation to large audience using Nextcloud Talk. Or it can be having, uh, it can be like a company can do its internal weekly or a monthly calls with all its employee using Nextcloud Talk. Or as more and more organizations are getting global, so they can use Nextcloud Talk to host trainings or seminars for all their employees who can easily join in the session no matter from which part of world they are. For educational sector, I can think a teacher hosting a online classes for, for, for their students using Nextcloud Talk, or like how organizations have company meetings, um, and education sector can also have training and uh, internal company calls using Nextcloud Talk. And if you look at some home users, like in last two years, because of COVID, we all have attended one or the other event virtually, be it a marriage of our friend, or a birthday party, or even a baby shower. So yes, that's how uh, COVID changed in-person events to the virtual events. And we can use Nextcloud Talk for hosting some of our very personal and private events with our near and dear ones. So what are some of the features that we need in Nextcloud Talk that are present that makes it the best hosting solution for the webinar? One, a webinar should not be that there's one person who is talking and kind of boring. So it should be having a feature with which you can easily, with just one click, be able to switch into one presenter to another. So that's what you can do with Nextcloud Talk. It should have an option to share files and documents with all the attendees. Imagine a scenario where you're presenting and doing a webinar and talking about your product. And at the same time, you are sharing the PDF of your product brochure with all the attendees. Isn't that something cool? Or if I'm a teacher, I would like all my students to take their homework document <laughs> attached after an online class. So these are some of the use cases we can have here. Third is ability to have a live chat for attendees. Why should webinar be boring? Why not have chat where all the guests and attendees can chat with each other or even add a comment or emojis to each other's comment and make it a little more fun? That's what you can do with Nextcloud Talk. Fourth is option to set permissions. Believe me, we've been hosting webinars in using Nextcloud Talk, and there are some occasions where I don't want a person from India joining the webinar where he's stuck in a traffic. You want to avoid all the noise <laughs> which is going to be there. So it's important that you set permissions that who is allowed to have rights of switching on the audio or the video. So that you can do with Nextcloud Talk. 
And last is, like I said, make your webinars, your online classes, or your events more interactive with options such as poll, which my dear colleague Nimisha already showed and is one of the greatest feature we have in Nextcloud Hub 3. So these are like very obvious steps what you have to do in Nextcloud Talk for hosting a webinar. So first is the most obvious step, that is go to the talk. <laughs> I don't know why even I have a slide about it, but yes. <laughs> Create a new group conversation in Nextcloud Talk. Add a name to your conversation. Important, allow guests to join via link. Make sure you click that. Click create a conversation, click on copy the link. This is for sharing it with everyone. So don't forget just to create the room and keep it only up to you. Make sure that it reaches the right audience, so share it. Step five, add participants. Like I mentioned, it should be very easy to switch between one presenter to another or one speaker to another. So you can easily add them here, make them a moderator, promote them, and yeah, you are done. You can add a very long description here. <laughs> if you want, you can add some uh, to-dos, not to-do, add agenda, and, and what not. It's all up to you. I leave it up to you all and your creativity to add a description about what you want. And like I said, don't forget to change some settings, like notify about calls in the conversation, and it's good to actually have a setting, a pop-up message where uh, everyone who is going to uh, sign in for the webinar, they receive that uh, they are not allowed to use the audio and video during this webinar session. Change the permissions, which is like very important. So I really have to remove everything that my audience cannot start a call or they cannot uh, use microphone, camera, and share their screen. Most important steps, so no matter what you've chatted with all your moderators, speakers, or presenter, you can easily delete all the chat so that it's a fresh start right at the time when you get started with the webinar. Step 10, end call for all. This is most important because you never know how your webinar is going and someone just slept off. <laughs> <laughs> and and once you're done with the webinar, they got up and they're like, oh, where is the webinar? And so make sure that you end the call for everyone because people might get busy in between with some other work and we want to avoid scenarios like that. And this is how you can do that. And uh, like... Um, like I said, Hub, uh, Nextcloud Hub 3, we made some improvements here. So make your session quite interactive, fun, by adding polls to it. And here is a screenshot about how you can share the document and some files with all your attendees. And I would like to um, rephrase uh, the statement of my colleague Nimisha that we can have up to 1,000 participants who can attend and be part of one event in Nextcloud loud talk. So that's again one of the improvements we have done in Hub 3. So thank you. And I hope you all use Next Loud Talk for your next big event. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Nia. Really cool.